Ever wonder if a humble looking coin in your pocket could be worth thousands? Today we are diving deep into the world of rare US coins. Some so unique they have turned casual collectors into serious auction contenders, from minting mistakes to rare finds that defy odds. We are uncovering 8 incredible coins that fetch staggering prices. Let's see if your collection might just be hitting a small fortune. Subscribe. Starting with this incredible error quarter dollar 1998p Washington 25 cent triple struck second and third strikes 40% off center graded in mean state 66 by PCGS. Minting errors of this nature are quite rare especially with such a dramatic misalignment. While double struck coins are more commonly found, the triple struck with multiple off center impressions is a standout error, making this quarter a coveted piece for error coin collectors. Graded MS66 by PCGS, this coin is in exceptional condition, further boosting its rarity and value. High grade error coins with such noticeable mistakes are particularly desirable, and this coin f could fetch a significant price at auction. Similar examples have sold for several thousand dollars depending on demand and specific nature of this error. This one was sold for $1440 at Stax Powers Auction. This stunning 1942 S Lincoln graded MS68 red by NGC stands out as a superb gem from unique period in US minting history. In early 1942, the San Francisco Mint was still recovering from its long hiatus in cent production, minting only pennies until March before copper restrictions began to take hold. As the year wore on, the mint's output dwindled, making this issue particularly sought after. Unlike many 1940s Lincoln cents, which tend to show bright, flashy red hues. The 1942S is often found with a more muted red tone, a subtle distinction that has made it a favorite among seasoned collectors. This particular coin however boasts an exceptionally sharp strike paired with luminous satin-like luster and a consistent copper-orange color. With no noticeable spots or abrasions, it presents a remarkable example of this scarce issue in top condition. Adding to its prestige, this scent was sold for an impressive $3,840 at 30 auction, cementing its place as a true gem of the series. What a gem! 1939D Jefferson Nickel was reverse of 1938. Highly sought after variety, graded in mint state 67 full steps by PCGS. The 1939 Jefferson Nickel Woods Reverse of 1938 is a highly desirable coin among collectors. This variety is noticeable for its reverse design, which features the original 1938 version of the Monticello building. With sharper details compared to later modifications, the reverse of 1938 variety is relatively scarce, particularly for Denver minted 1939 coins, making it a standout piece. The full step designation refers to the sharp, fully struck steps on Monticello, a rare feature on Jefferson Nichols, especially from this period. Achieving full steps means the coin's reverse has at least five distinct steps which are often missing due to weak strikes or circulation wear. In mean state 67 this coin is in near perfect condition, placing it among the finest known examples. Given its great rarity and full steps designation, this nickel can fetch several thousand dollars at auction, making it a prized piece in any collection. This one recently sold for $1020 at Stax Bowers auction. Here is 1891 as Morgan Silver Dollar, graded in mint state 64 by PCGS. The San Francisco mint struck nearly 5.3 million Morgan dollars in 1891. Many remained in government vaults until they were released prior to 1960. Many of those coins, released decades after they were struck, were uncirculated but were on low end of the spectrum due to excessive backmarks. The most commonly seen mint state grade seen today is MS63, however the coin is relatively available in choice as well. It becomes much harder to find in gem. This MS64 specimen was sold for $690 recently at Stax Powers auction. The 1977s Lincoln sent struck on a dime planchette, an incredible error coin, graded as PR69 Ultra Cameo by NGC. Dramatic white on black contrast immediately strikes a reviewer 
with limitless depths of mirroring in the fields and the frost white luster on devices. The strike is about perfectly centered on the planchette with slight deformation of the border legends. The clad copper layer is discernible around the edge. Weight of this wrong planchette error is 2.3 grams within weight tolerances of a clad Roosevelt time planchette. It was sold for $6,000. The 1932D, the Kidit in Washington series, and even average circulated specimen fetch premiums at auctions. This tons specimen was graded as AU58 by PCGS. These coins were produced as commemorative issues that would eventually enter general circulation. All three mints struck Washington quarters, but production at the Denver and San Francisco mints was limited to the potential number of collectors desiring three-piece sets mean state examples are scarce though not truly rare gems however are quite rare a few coins have been certified as ms65 or higher worn specimens are plentiful particularly in the lower grades this circulated specimen recently sold for 600 dollars this is 1963 Lincoln Sand struck on a silver dime planchet created in Mint State 62 by PCGS. The 1963 Lincoln Sand struck on a silver dime planchet created in 62 by PCGS is exceptionally rare and valuable mint error. This error occurred when the coin was mistakenly struck on a silver dime planchet instead of standard copper sand planchet creating a unique piece that stands out in both appearance and composition. The result is a Lincoln sand that is smaller in diameter and light in weight than normal, with a distinct silver color. These types of off-metal errors are highly sought after by collectors due to their rarity and the unlikely circumstances required for such an error to occur. The fact that silver dime planchets were still in use in 1963 adds to the historical significance of the coin. It was sold for $1,380 at Stax Powers auction. This is 1944 D. Lincoln Sand with over mint mark error, graded as MS67 read by PCGS. This sand is rarer of two 1944 D or S varieties and the one referenced in the guidebook, according to Heritage Auctions. The top of the initial S protrudes visibly from the top of the D. Examples are elusive in full red condition, and only a handful of pieces are in superb gem preservation. Several repunched mint mark varieties also exist for this issue, but are less visually prominent. This FS511 coin displays a bold strike and satiny copper orange luster without mentionable abrasions or spots. It was sold for $23,400. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Take care, and God's willing, see you in the next video.